Now let's take our next question that is question number 22. The question you see here belongs to section of electromagnetism from the chapter current electricity. In a conductor if the number of conduction electrons per unit volume is given as 8.5 into 10 to power 28 per meter cube and mean free time is 25 femtoseconds its approximate resistivity is. So there's a direct relation of resistivity with this let me give you the formula. I hope you remember that one. That would be resistivity rho equals to mass of electron divided by number density into square of the charge of electron into tau. So, mass of electron would be given as 9.1 into 10 to power minus 31 kg. When you write n, it is given to us as 8.5 into 10 to power 28 per meter cube. This is the value which is given to us, right? Then, E is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 and tau is given to as 25 femtoseconds that is 10 to power minus 15 seconds right. So with all the values which is given to us when you put it you will get answer nearly equal to 10 to power minus 8 ohm meters. So option number 4 is the right answer to this question. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number 23. Now, the question you see belongs to sections of optics. Here, a thin convex lens L having refractive index 1.5 is placed on a plane mirror M. When a pin is placed at A such that OA is equal to 18 cm, its real inverted image is formed at A itself. When a liquid of refractive index mu L is placed between the lens and the mirror, then the pin has to be moved to A dash such that OA dash is equal to 27 cm to get its inverted real image at A dash itself. The value of mu L will be, so this is the question. So initially the pin was placed here and the, this distance is given to us as 18 centimeters, right? Now, when the liquid was placed in this portion between the mirror and the lens, then it shifted, that is A dash is at 27 centimeter. So basically when liquid was not here, the combination of lens and mirror was forming the image here itself. In that case, you will say the focus of this combination would be 18 centimeters. So let's say take case 1. So when you talk about case 1, you will get focal length as 18 centimeter. So 1 upon f is equals to mu minus 1, 1 by r minus of minus 1 by r since it is a biconvex lens or equi-biconvex lens right from here mu is 1.5 so 1 upon f that is 1 upon 18 is equals to 1.5 minus 1 divided by into 2 by r so when you solve you will get r is equals to 18 centimeters so now we have the curvature of the surfaces of equi-convex lens now in the second case when you put some liquid here in this portion this will have your behave as a separate lens let's take as f dash now for this f dash the focal length would be so 1 upon f dash will be equal to mu l minus 1 minus 1 upon r because the first curvature is having or the first surface is having the radius of curvature upwards right minus 1 upon infinite as the other surface is flat so 1 upon f dash is equals to mu l minus 1 into minus 18 why minus because r value is 18 right so this is the second equation we have the first equation that is focal length of us that is equals to this one now when together combined the new focal length or f net for the system was given as 27 centimeters right so 1 upon f net should be equals to 1 upon f plus 1 upon f dash now this new fo initial focal length was 18 centimeter new value would be mu l minus 1 divided by minus 18 right and this is 1 upon 27 so this can be simplified as 1 upon 18 1 upon 27 this would be minus of mu l minus 1 upon 18 now every value is known to us we just have to find the value of mu l and you will get so mu l will be equal to 4 by 3 let's see which is the best suited option here so among the four options given to us yes option number two is the right answer to this question 
Now let's move on to our next question that is question number 24. Now the question you see belongs to section of electromagnetism from chapter magnetic field due to current. Now the two coil P and Q are separated by some distance when current of 3 ampere flows through coil P a magnetic flux of 10 to power minus 3 Weber passes through Q. No current is passed through Q. When no current passes through P and a current of 2 ampere passes through Q the flux through P is. So in the first case flux is given to us and the current which is responsible for that flux is also known to us. So flux due to Q can be written as mutual inductance coefficient into I. Now what is the current which is passed initially that is equal to 3 ampere and flux developed is 10 to power minus 3. So I will write 10 to power minus 3 equals to m into 3. So the mutual inductance coefficient between Q and P is 1 by 3 into 10 to power minus 3 right. Now for the second case flux through P, P is asked so that would be m into the current which is passed through Q and that was given to us as 2 ampere. So we will say into 2. So phi P will be equal to 2 by 3 into 10 to power minus 3 Weber right. Let's see which is the best suited option. From here when you see it is 6.67 into 10 to power minus 4 Weber. So answer to this question would be option number 2. Hope you have understood this question very well. Now let's move on to our next question that is question number 25.